Welcome to the overview of the performance management module in HR Simplified. We will be taking you through a quick tour to explain the basics and to give you enough information on how to use it. The performance management module will allow the HR team to set up KPAs with OKRs or objectives and key results, as they are referred to. Once that is available, the managers can create assessment templates to issue to an employee and the employee can complete a self-assessment. Once the self-assessment has been completed, the manager can review and adjust the scores, recommend skills and training for the employee, and send it back to the employee for final review and acceptance. Because of the way the data is captured in the HR simplified system, it allows for analytics that can guide executive management into how the performance reviews are contributing and focusing on the strategy or OKRs and allow the HR team to get in-depth views into performance and development requirements. To look into this in more detail, we will now go through the process on the system. We start by loading the company OKRs in the system. This could be from your last strategy outcome and contain things like visions, missions, goals, and more. Next, we need to create KPA in the system. The manager will then create an assessment template for a specific position and add KPI to the template and link the KPI to OKRs. In this way, the template pulls together the OKRs, the KPA, and the KPI to allow for in-depth reporting. Now that the templates are set up, they are available for managers to assign to an employee and set the due date for self-assessment. The due date is automatically set based on the duration of the review. From the employee's point of view, we will see the following. The employee logs in and finds the assessment under their My Documents section. It will not be possible to complete the self-assessment until after the due date becomes available. The employee will then complete the self-assessment and submit it to manager for review. From the manager's point of view, they will log in and find the assessments from the employees under the Completed Assessment section. The manager will then review the self-assessment and adjusts as they see fit. They will then add review notes, skills development, and training, and finalizes the assessment for a final review by the employee. The employee will then follow the same process as before, but only add their final remarks on the assessment and how they felt it went. Once they accept the review, it is closed off, and the employee can download a copy of the review in PDF for their own records. Now that the review data has been captured, the performance management insights are updated in real time to show data up to OKR's level, KPAs, and KPI level. The top performers per position can also be found under the performance management insights, as well as a scatter chart that indicates outlying candidates for further investigation by management and HR. On the employee profile, the performance scores are tabulated and stored against the employee's data, and a 360-degree chart starts to track progress over time. The skills and training recommendations are also kept against the employee record to allow the HR team to plan required training and development. Before we wrap it up, it is important to note that the job titles need to be set up in the HR Capacity Planner before it can be used in the Performance Management Module. The system assigns KPA to a job title to create a job assessment template. We hope that this video was helpful. Thank you for watching.